Just a decade ago, India was the world's largest importer of arms. We bought jets, tanks and radars, often from Russia, Israel, the US. But today, there's a silent revolution unfolding. India is exporting missiles to Southeast Asia, drones to friendly nations, and is gearing up to ship out more than 50,000 crore worth of defense tech by 2028. This is not a fantasy. This is the transformation Satish Reddy, former DRDO chief, has seen firsthand. I'm going to tell you all about it on this episode of Point Break. For decades, India leaned heavily on foreign partners, mostly Russia, for our defence need. From fighter jets to air defence systems, our forces relied on imports that were expensive, hard to maintain and politically sensitive. Satish Reddy, former chairperson of DRDO, calls it the decades-long dependency trap. So where do we stand today? I'll tell you all about it. But first, a quick roundup of what's been making the waves in the world of AI and tech. Apple just lost its most powerful executive. Jeff Williams, the man behind the iPod, iPhone and Apple Watch, is stepping down as COO after nearly 30 years. He wasn't flashy, but he ran Apple's operations like clockwork and even led design after Johnny Ive left. Now he's retiring and Sabi Khan, Apple's ops chief, takes the reins. This is Apple's biggest internal shift in a decade. And yes, it's happening quietly. IBM has a new chip, but it's not built to train massive AI models like NVIDIA's. It's designed to make AI rollouts simpler and more secure for businesses. The new Power11 chips, launching July 25th, focus on uptime and security. No planned downtime for updates. Average yearly disruption, just 30 seconds. And it can detect ransomware in under a minute. IBM isn't chasing AI hype. It's aiming at enterprise stability and it's betting. That's the long game. Quick updates done. Now let's zoom out because something massive is changing in India's defense playbook. Let's get into it. We have been the, one of the largest importers of defense equipment for decades together. It has been that. So from there, the trend has changed. A lot of indigenous development, a lot of technologies, a lot of systems. In the particular in the last decade, there have been a quantum jump in that scenario. And today we find that a lot of systems have been developed in the country. And we have become self-reliant in many areas. And today we have our own systems which are coming to picture and getting inducted in a, a big way. India has been one of the largest importers of defense equipment. That has been the trend globally, including here. But starting around 2014, that tide began to turn. The indigenous content in our defense procurement jumped from just 30 to 35 percent a decade ago to over 60 percent today. Former DRDO chairman Satish Reddy said that today we have our own systems getting inducted in a big way. Startups, private companies and DRDO have all contributed to this shift. The defense acquisition procedure was overhauled. New schemes were introduced like IDX, TDF, Sprint and ATI DHI, giving startups access to funding, mentorship and most critically, deployment pipelines with the armed forces. In 2016, there were just a few defense startups in India. Today, there are over 1,000 working in areas ranging from autonomous drones to quantum encryption. And here's the headline. India exported 23,666 crore rupees worth of defense equipment in financial year 24-25. That's not a rounding error. That's serious gear being shipped out. The Philippines bought the BrahMos missile in a landmark 2,700 crore rupees deal. Several African and Southeast Asian nations are in talks for Akash missile systems, Pinaka rocket launchers and radars. And HAL's Tejas fighter and ALS Dhruv helicopters are being pitched to Malaysia, Argentina and others. I feel after Operation Sindhur, which we are definitely seeing scenario, the world has seen what are the technologies India has. 
people only used to believe some the iron dome and all that technologies whereas they have seen that india is having equally competent or better technologies which are able to prevent right from drones uavs rockets missiles aircrafts and what not everything so there is a trend in the world which is looking towards india for exports from india people used to believe only in systems like the iron dome but after operation sindhu the world has seen that india has equally competent or even better indigenous technologies the nature of war has changed it's no longer just boots on the ground today's wars are asymmetric hybrid and driven by tech space and cyber have become the fourth and fifth dimensions of warfare ai based targeting unmanned vehicles spoofing jamming these are now frontline weapons and india is gearing up across all five fronts drdo is pushing into ai based electronic warfare startups are building swarm drones hyperspectral satellites autonomous underwater vehicles india isn't just keeping up in some areas we are setting the pace from real time intelligence to network centric command systems drone swarms to quantum secure comms operation sindhu showcased what india's defense ecosystem has built in just a few years So what's fueling this momentum? Capital defense budget in financial year 24 was 1.75 lakh crore rupees out of which 1.2 lakh crore rupees was indigenous procurement. And the target for 2029, 3 lakh crore rupees per year with a major share earmarked for Indian companies. So what will it take to sustain this momentum? Satish Reddy outlines three things: mentoring so startups understand battlefield realities. not just build cool tech funding deep tech defense takes serious capital the schemes exist but timing is key and market access cracking the procurement maze still requires insider guidance from importing fighter jets to exporting missile systems from dependency to dominance from buying defense to building it this is not just a policy win It's a quiet tech revolution and India finally is ready to sell strength. That's all we have for this episode of Point Break. I'll be back with more Bharat updates. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious and think AI, think AIM.